Welcome to Understanding the Software Development Lifecycle, a comprehensive overview. Brought to you by Disruptive Lion Learning, a leader in business and technology education. The Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC, is a term that many of you might have heard before, but today, we will delve deeper to understand its intricacies. Whether you're a student, a technology professional, or a business leader, this knowledge is essential for anyone involved in innovation or the technology industry. Let's get started. The Software Development Life Cycle, or SDLC, is a systematic and structured approach to software development that outlines the phases, processes, and activities required to design, create, test, deploy, and maintain software applications. Its importance lies in its ability to provide a clear roadmap for developers and stakeholders, ensuring that software projects are well-organized and consistently managed. The SDLC enhances project efficiency, quality, and communication by allowing teams to plan, execute, and monitor each stage of development, ultimately leading to the successful delivery of reliable software that meets user requirements. It helps reduce project risks, improve resource allocation, and maintain a focus on user needs, making it an indispensable methodology in the world of software development. To review, the SDLC is a framework that describes the steps involved in the development of software. It's a process that ensures high-quality, efficient, and error-free software. It's not just about coding, it encompasses everything from initial planning to maintenance after deployment. Let's discuss the SDLC phases. The software development life cycle typically consists of six fundamental phases, each serving a specific purpose in the development process. Here's a description of these phases. Requirements gathering and analysis. In this initial phase, the focus is on understanding and documenting the software project's requirements. Developers, stakeholders, and end users collaborate to identify and define the needs, goals, constraints, and functionalities of the software. The outcome is a detailed requirements document that sets the foundation for the project. System Design Once the requirements are clear, the system design phase begins. During this stage, system architects and designers create a high-level and low-level design of the software. They plan the software's architecture, modules, data structures, algorithms, and interfaces. This phase helps establish a technical blueprint for the development process. Implementation, coding. The implementation phase involves translating the design into actual code. Developers write, test, and debug the software, ensuring that it adheres to the established requirements and design specifications code quality and maintainability are significant considerations during this stage. Testing In the testing phase, the software is rigorously evaluated to detect and rectify defects, bugs, and inconsistencies. Various testing methods, such as unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing, are employed to ensure that the software performs as intended. Deployment or implementation once the software has passed testing and quality assurance, it is deployed to the production environment. This phase involves installing the software on the target systems and making it accessible to end users. A smooth transition from development to production is critical to avoid disruptions, maintenance, and support. The final phase of the SDLC involves ongoing maintenance and support. After deployment, software requires updates, enhancements, and troubleshooting to address user feedback, adapt to changing requirements, and resolve issues. The maintenance phase can continue for the entire lifespan of the software. These six phases provide a structured and organized approach to software development, ensuring that projects are well-managed, efficient, and result in high-quality, user-centric software solutions. It's important to note that the SDLC is often implemented in various models, such as the waterfall model, agile, or iterative approaches, which may adapt the phases to suit different project requirements and methodologies. The waterfall model is a traditional and linear approach to the software development life cycle. In this model, the software development process is divided into distinct, sequential phases, with each phase building upon the outcomes of the previous one. Here's an explanation phases of the waterfall model. Requirements gathering. The project begins with a thorough collection of requirements from stakeholders and users. System design. Designers create detailed system architecture and specifications based on the requirements. Implementation, developers write the code according to the design specifications. Testing, the software undergoes rigorous testing to identify and rectify defects and issues. Deployment, after successful testing, the software is deployed in the production environment. Maintenance, 
ongoing maintenance and support ensure that the software functions correctly and is updated as needed. Now let's review the pros and cons of this model, let's start with the pros. The waterfall model provides clarity and structure. The sequential nature of the model provides a clear roadmap for development, making it easy to understand and follow. Well-defined requirements, rigorous requirements analysis at the outset can lead to a comprehensive understanding of project goals. Documented progress. Each phase produces documented deliverables, which can assist with project management and accountability. Stability and predictability. Once a phase is complete, it is not revisited, which can provide stability and predictability to project schedules. Now let's review some of the cons with the waterfall model. These include rigidity. The model's inflexible nature can be a disadvantage in dynamic environments as it may not adapt well to changing requirements. Limited user involvement. Users typically provide requirements early in the process and their feedback may not be incorporated until the maintenance phase, potentially leading to misalignment with user needs. Late error discovery. If errors or misunderstandings are identified late in the process, correcting them can be time-consuming and costly. Long time to market. The model's sequential approach may result in a longer time to market for the final product, which can be a disadvantage in fast-paced industries. Overall, the waterfall model is best suited for projects with well-understood and stable requirements, such as simple software applications and projects with minimal anticipated changes. However, in dynamic and rapidly evolving environments, where requirements are likely to change or are not fully understood initially, more flexible and adaptive approaches like Agile are often preferred. The Agile model is an iterative and flexible approach to software development that prioritizes collaboration, customer feedback, and adaptability. It emphasizes breaking the development process into smaller, manageable cycles called sprints or iterations, which typically last a few weeks. The Agile model stands in contrast to traditional, linear models like the waterfall. Instead of detailed, upfront planning, Agile allows for evolving project requirements and continuous improvement. Pros of the Agile model Customer-centric Agile places a strong focus on customer collaboration. It ensures that the software aligns with user needs and can adapt to changing requirements as feedback is integrated during each iteration. Flexibility Agile embraces change and encourages adaptation throughout the development process. This flexibility is invaluable in industries with rapidly changing requirements. Faster delivery, due to its iterative nature, Agile often leads to quicker delivery of functional software. Clients can see progress early and frequently. Higher quality, continuous testing and integration result in better software quality. Issues are detected and addressed promptly, reducing the likelihood of major defects. Enhanced communication. Agile promotes daily communication within the development team and regular interactions with clients. This ensures that everyone is on the same page and fosters a sense of collaboration. Cons of the Agile model. Complexity in large projects. Agile is well-suited for small to medium-sized projects. In large, complex projects, managing multiple iterations can become challenging. Client availability. Agile requires active client involvement throughout the project, which can be demanding on clients' time and availability. Uncertainty. Agile's adaptive nature may introduce uncertainty for stakeholders. They may be unsure about the final product until later in the development process. Scope creep. The flexibility of Agile can lead to scope creep if not managed properly. New features and changes can accumulate if not closely monitored. Documentation. Agile often leans more towards working software than comprehensive documentation. While this can be efficient, it may lead to challenges in documentation-heavy industries or regulatory environments. Let's review. The Agile model is highly effective when applied in the right context, such as projects with evolving requirements and those where customer feedback and collaboration are essential. However, it's crucial to recognize its limitations and select the most suitable model for the specific project and organization needs. Choosing the right software development life cycle model is a crucial decision that can significantly impact the success of a software project. Factors like project complexity, client needs, and team expertise play a significant role in this choice. Each SDLC model offers distinct advantages and drawbacks, from the structured waterfall model to the adaptable agile approach. Making an informed decision involves considering the project's specific requirements and constraints. By carefully selecting the most suitable SDLC model, teams can streamline the development process, 
optimize resource allocation, and ensure that the final product aligns with both user expectations and project objectives. Here are four key points to consider when selecting the appropriate SDLC model, project requirements and complexity. Evaluate the project's scope, scale, and complexity. For well-defined projects with stable requirements, the waterfall model may be suitable. In contrast, agile or iterative models are more appropriate for projects with evolving or unclear requirements. Client involvement and feedback. Consider the level of client involvement and the need for ongoing feedback. Agile models prioritize regular client collaboration and are ideal when clients wish to be closely engaged throughout the development process. In contrast, more traditional models like Waterfall may require less client involvement upfront. Resource and time constraints. Assess resource availability and project timelines. Agile models often result in quicker, more frequent deliveries of functional software, making them suitable for projects with tight schedules. Traditional models may be more rigid in terms of timelines. Team expertise and experience. Evaluate the experience and skill set of the development team. Some SDLC models may be more challenging to implement without experienced team members. Choose a model that aligns with your team's strengths and capabilities. By carefully considering these factors, you can make an informed decision about the most appropriate SDLC model for your specific project, ensuring a smoother and more successful development process. Adopting a software development life cycle offers several significant advantages that enhance the software development process and the resulting products. Let's discuss some of the benefits. Improved project management. Structured approach. SDLC provides a systematic and structured approach to software development, ensuring that the project is well-organized and progresses in an orderly fashion. Efficient resource allocation. It helps in allocating resources effectively, managing timelines, and setting clear milestones, leading to better project control and predictability. Clear documentation. SDLC encourages the creation of comprehensive project documentation, aiding in project planning, tracking, and communication. Quality assurance. Thorough testing. SDLC emphasizes rigorous testing throughout the development process, reducing the likelihood of undetected defects and improving software quality. User-centric focus. By involving users in the requirements and testing phases, SDLC ensures that the software meets user needs and expectations. Reduce development risks. Early issue identification. SDLC allows for the early identification of project issues, risks, and challenges, enabling timely mitigation strategies. User feedback. Involving users and stakeholders in the development process helps in validating and refining project direction, reducing the risk of creating solutions that miss the mark. Let's discuss some key takeaways. SDLC ensures a structured and well-managed development process, resulting in efficient project management. Quality assurance is integrated through continuous testing and a user-centric focus. Early issue identification and user involvement mitigate development risks, reducing the likelihood of project failure. Incorporating an SDLC into your software development process can lead to improved project outcomes, enhanced software quality, and reduced risks, making it an invaluable methodology for development teams. The software development lifecycle is a crucial process that ensures the successful development and deployment of high-quality software. It's a journey that takes us from the initial idea to a fully functioning software product, ready to serve its users. Thank you for watching Understanding the Software Development Lifecycle, a comprehensive overview. Brought to you by Disruptive Lion Learning, a leader in business and technology education. For more great content, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Be disruptive and never stop learning.